Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to create an ESXi host running inside of our vSphere environment. I'm going to start off by right clicking on my folder, new virtual machine, keep create new virtual machine, I'm going to give it a name, And that is going to go into my folder that I selected initially. It's going to be inside of my resource pool from a compute perspective. I have to select the data store. And from a compatibility perspective, we want ESXi 7 and later. The guest OS is going to be other. And from here, I will pick ESXi 7.0 and later. CPUs are two, which is good. Four gigabytes of memory is good. I'm going to modify the disk to be thin provisioned, which we always want to do. We need to add another disk. So I'm going to say add new device, it's going to be a hard disk. Again, the size is fine, but we're going to change this to thin provision as well. We need four network controllers overall, so I'm going to add three more of those. These are all connected to my 01 port group. The first two being connected to the 01 port group is fine. The third one I need to connect to the 02 port group. And the last one I need to connect to the 03 port group. So I'll make those changes. And the last thing I need to do is attach the DVD to the ISO so that we can actually install. Change from client device into data store ISO file. I'm going to expand out the ISOs folder and within this, I'm going to grab VMVisor 7.0, that's this guy here. And I will also expand this out and select connect the power on so that the ISO is attached when we power on the VM. And then the other thing that we need to do is make sure that the CPU is going to support virtualization. I'm going to expand the CPU, pick Expose Hardware Assisted Virtualization, and we're also going to enable the virtualized CPU performance counters. That's basically all we need to do for this. I'll click on Next and Finish, and that will create my VM, which we can see here. Need to power this on, which we will do. And then we will open our web console. And we can see that this is already booting from the ISO. We'll give that a couple seconds to initialize. We'll answer some questions and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we've gone through the initialization process. We're sitting at the welcome screen. I'm going to press enter to continue. We need to accept the license agreement. We'll do that. The system's going to scan to find disks that it can install onto, so we'll wait for it to complete that. It selected the first one, that's fine. Enter to continue. US keyboard, we need to put in the root password. That's done. We will confirm the installation with F11. And that will now go through and do its thing. It will reboot when it's finished. Come up to the console screen. I'll pause while that's going on. We'll come back at the end to make sure that everything's good. Okay, we are back from doing the installation. It's rebooted. We're at the console screen. It looks exactly the way it should, so all's good. It's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.